Welcome to part 2 of the beginner guide. You will learn to create a simple part in FreeCAD. Create a new document. You can do that with this button. Make sure the part design workbench is selected. As a beginner, this workbench is good to start with. The buttons you see are related to this workbench. The workbench has many tools available. Now create a new sketch. This will be the base of the part you design. Now select the XY plane. This is the face you will be sketching on. Now you are inside the Sketcher workbench. You will get there automatically when creating or editing a sketch. The buttons you see are related to the sketch tools. This row contains all drawing tools. You can draw lines, polylines, circles, and more. Select the rectangle button. Then draw this rectangle. Click once to start drawing and again to place it. Click right mouse button to exit the rectangle tool. Now select this horizontal line by clicking left mouse button. This row contains all constrain tools. Constraints are tools to fix sketch lines so that they can't move anymore. Select this button to add a horizontal distance to a line or between two vertices. Enter a number and press enter. The horizontal distance of the rectangle is now defined. Now select this vertical line and do the same, but vertical. That means adding a vertical distance. Enter a number again and press enter. The rectangle is still free in two directions, X and Y. It's called Degrees of Freedom. Click here to highlight free movable sketch parts. You see the four vertices are highlighted. Click left mouse button to cancel the highlight. Select these two vertices and then the origin. Hold control before you click on each vertex to make a selection of multiple vertices. Then select the symmetrical constraint button. Then the two selected vertices will be symmetrical over the origin. The rectangle has been fixed in two directions at once. You can exit a sketch with two buttons. But always check if a sketch is fully constrained. It's a general rule for sketches to fix all lines so that they are not loose. If it's fully constrained, you can exit the sketch. So the sketch is in fact the base of the part. Now select the pad button to extrude the sketch. You can enter a distance to define the thickness. See how the thickness is changing? You can also reverse it or make it symmetrical by checking these boxes. Here's a tip. Select the origin planes and press spacebar to make them visible. You see it's now extruded symmetrical. Uncheck the box to undo this. Also hide the origin planes. Press spacebar again after you selected it.
It's also possible to add a taper angle to the extrusion. Change this number and you will see it. The sides will then become sloping. You can quickly switch to an isometric view with the navigation cube. Set the taper angle back to 0 degrees. Now click the OK button. The next step is making the four corners round. Select the corners while holding control. Make sure to press control before selecting a corner. Hold control and click left mouse button on the corner line. Yes like that, you're doing great. Select this button when you want to round corners. Enter a radius here. You see it's increasing. Here you can see which corners are selected. Now click the OK button to apply. You can also change to an isometric view directly with this button. The next thing you're going to do is adding a hole in the center. You will use the earlier sketch for that. First expand the extrusion, better known as pad. There you will find the sketch you need. Double click the sketch to edit it. Now you're inside the same sketch you already made. You can edit it anytime you want. Now select the circle tool. Draw the circle at the origin. Right click to exit the tool. Select the circle and add a diameter. Use the arrow if you can't find the diameter button. Enter a number for the diameter and click OK. Exit the sketch when it's fully constrained. So this is an easy way to add a hole or other shape to your 3D model. Remember all features are placed inside a so-called body here. The body was created automatically with the first sketch. Select it and press F2 to rename it. Then enter the name you like. Right-click on the body and select Appearance. Here you can change the shape, line and point color of your 3D model. Select another shape color to change the color of your model. Let's go for yellow. Now click the OK button to apply. Nice job! You finished the part. Switch to a perspective view below the navigation cube. Stay tuned for the next lesson. But keep watching, thank you. Also check out my 3D printing channel where I post all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to check out my other videos and channels.